Hello, welcome to another tutorial by the Maximo support team. My name is Mark Leftwich, and today I'm going to show you how you can install a specific version of a service binding operator. The first step you're going to need to take is to log into your cluster via the CLI. Now, if you haven't done this before, if you log into your OpenShift dashboard, you can go to the top right hand corner and drop down your username. You can then do the copy login command. Once the screen loads, you're presented with your API token, but also with a login token. You need to take the second line down, the one I'm copying now. For security reasons, I've blurred out some of the characters in the string. This string will allow anybody with it to log into your cluster, so make sure you keep this safe. Once you've copied the string, you need to paste that into a terminal and hit return. This is now logged you successfully into your OCP cluster. The next step that we need to take is to create our own YAML file. So from the terminal, we need to create the YAML file. I'm going to use vi, and I'm going to call it sbo.yaml. Once that file is created, you need to paste the following contents into your file. Now, if you found this video through YouTube, if you look into the description, it will take you to the tech note, which contains the information you need. If you're looking at this embedded in the tech note itself, the text unit is just below. Now, for those that are not familiar with YAML files particularly, is a configuration which you can apply against the cluster and you'll get the same result every time you run that file. So in this case, what we are saying is we are creating a kind of subscription. We are looking for the entity that's called RH service binding operator. And on the very last line there, I am specifically specifying the 0.8.0 .0 operator. This is the one you need to use with mass. Once you have that configuration, we need to save it. And if I do an ls on the directory, you can see I have the sbo.yaml file ready to run there. Now, as I mentioned before, you apply these against your OpenShift cluster. So the next step you need to do is run this configuration against the cluster. We're going to do this with the OC command, which is the standard for OpenShift clusters. Then we're going to use the word apply minus F to show that we're using a file. And I'm going to give it the file name, which was sbo.yaml and hit return. You can see that was successively created by the response from the cluster. If you do not get that message, it could be that you've waited too long and you've timed out from your login originally to the cluster. So you may have to redo that step and then reapply the YAML command. There's just two more steps to go and you should be up and running. The first one is we need to find the install plan that we've just put in place. And you can do that with this command. Again, this is in the tech note if you're watching this on YouTube in the description below or it's in the tech note itself if you're watching the embedded version. Now the install plan has come back and it's given me the response that it's install dash L5 LTG for this box. I now need to approve that install plan by patching it. Again, the command is in the tech note in the description below for YouTube or in the tech note itself as embedded. And you're going to run this command in the same terminal window. Now you can see it's gone through. It's got the install plan operators coreos.com. It's given me the same response of install dash L5 LTG, which is the install plan I wanted. And it says patched you have now installed the SBO that you needed to. If you want to double check this, this is a verification, there's a very quick way of doing this. If you go back into your OpenShift dashboard and then you click down into operators and installed operators on the left hand side, you can now see we have the service binding operator and it's at level 0.8.0. .0. And that's it, it's a relatively simple process to get you up and running. I hope you found that useful. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching this video on Maximo Application Suite. Please be sure to check out the other videos.